If you're considering having elective eye surgery, such as premium lens replacement or premium cataract surgery, and your surgery is not being paid for by your insurance, instead you're paying for it directly out of pocket, then you should know, I want you to know, that you have a choice. You can choose to have surgery to one eye on one day and then see how you do, and then come back days, weeks, or months later to have your other eye corrected to balance your vision out. Or, since you're paying out of pocket, you actually have a choice to have both eyes corrected on the same day. This process where both eyes are corrected in one day is called same day bilateral eye surgery. And this is what we're gonna talk about in this video. In 2023, we started performing same day bilateral premium lens replacement and even premium cataract surgery for our patients right here in our state-of-the-art ambulatory surgical center in Austin, Texas. For what circumstances do we perform same-day bilateral premium lens replacement? The most common reason is to reduce patient anxiety. Let's face it, if you're having eye surgery, would you rather go through the surgical process twice on two separate occasions for each eye? Or would you rather get it all done in one session. Most of the patients choosing to have same day bilateral surgery have a one and done mentality. They want to get the procedure done and not have to worry about it a second time. Patient convenience. If we perform surgery to one eye and then ask that patient to return for one or two follow-up visits before performing surgery on their second eye, and then performing additional follow-up visits for the second eye, then we're asking those patients to return to our office for twice the number of visits that we would ask of the patient who has same-day bilateral eye surgery. Same-day bilateral eye surgery patients miss less time from work and return to a normal schedule sooner than those patients who have surgery done to one eye and then have surgery to their second eye done on a later date. Some patients are very dependent on their glasses or contacts to see. In other words, they have a very, or they require a very strong or high prescription in glasses or contacts to see the world clearly around them. If we treat one eye and bring that one eye into focus and then wait days, weeks, or months before treating their second eye, Quite often, those patients have a hard time with imbalanced vision in the period between the first and second eye surgeries. Patients having surgery to both eyes on the same day return to a normal schedule much faster than patients who have surgery done on separate days because the same day bilateral patients have more balanced vision sooner and they can get back to a normal routine quicker. One important caveat is that same-day bilateral premium lens replacement is not covered by medical insurance. It's elective only. So if a patient chooses to use their medical insurance or a Medicare for their eye surgery, then for insurance reimbursement reasons, those patients, we do one eye one day and then do their second eye on a second day. So in this video, we're gonna share with you our process and how we perform same day bilateral premium lens replacement. In the operating rooms behind me, you'll see that we have two operating rooms and we'll walk you through that process. Come on, let's go. So just to orient you, we have two operating rooms here. This is operating room two and then Right here we have operating room three, and generally I go between two and three, back and forth. They prep one patient here, I'm operating in that room, and then I go, when I'm done with this room, the patient's ready for me in the other room, and I go back and forth. And that's how we alternate between two operating rooms. This video has been edited in the interest of time. You can see that there's a clock at the bottom of the screen to give you a sense of the time throughout this video. 
Our patient is brought into the operating room in a wheelchair by a nurse, then transferred to our operating room chair, which will recline in a moment. Our surgical technologist is preparing the sterile surgical instruments and the phaco emulsification machine. Meanwhile, our nurses verify the patient's identity and which eye we are working on and the surgical plan with the patient. The patient chair is reclined and the nursing team helps position our patient and help get her comfortable. A blood pressure cuff and pulse oximeter are applied to monitor our patient's vital signs during surgery. Then the right eye is anesthetized with eye drops and prepped and sterilized immediately prior to surgery. Our patient is then wrapped in a warm blanket to help her feel comfortable during her surgery. Next, a sterile sheet is applied over our patient's right eye. The sheet is expanded to cover her head and chest. The sterile sheet will serve as a sterile field for us to work around during surgery. The sheet is then tented upward to allow easy airflow for our patient's comfort. So we just finished our surgery in operating room two. Now we're going to start the first eye of our bilateral same day premium lens replacement surgery patient here in operating room number three. Come on in. So we're starting out with your right eye. We're doing both eyes today. 22 is perfect. 22 is perfect. And no need to mark. No RLRI, right eye, right eye, right eye. And I'm gonna give you extra numbing medicine. I'm gonna lower the top of your head a little bit. And I'm gonna raise the table up a little bit. Good. Look down a little bit. Not with your chin, just with your you with your eye. That's good. So here comes our microscope light. Try not to squeeze. Look directly into the light. Uh -huh, that's good. Uh, lidocaine again. Good. Good. Uh -huh. Good draping. Uh -huh, perfect. You're going to feel some pressure. I'm going to give you some anesthetic medicine inside your eye. Perfect. The lights will change. We're going to add a little fluid to the surface. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A little more pressure. Perfect. Look for the bottom of those two lights. That's great. Okay, that's all right. The light will come back into view in about 10 seconds. Perfect. Keep looking toward the middle of the light. Beautiful. Beautiful. Great. How are you feeling? Okay. You're okay, all right. Like to get a little brighter, raise your chin up a little bit. Thank you. That's good. Try to keep it right there. And now you're going to feel fluid and pressure.
segment. Doing all right? Yeah. Good. Everything's working well. You're going to feel fluid and pressure again. Perfect. Your coat. Mm -hmm. Looking good, looking good. T021.5. Perfect. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Beautiful, beautiful. You're going to feel fluid pressure. We're almost mm -hmm. done. You're doing fantastic.
almost done. Keep looking straight ahead. Do you see two lights in front of you? I do. Perfect. Keep looking in between those two lights. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. Love it. Great. We're all done. You did great. I'm going to take the sheet away. Try not to squeeze. It'll feel like there's a large band-aid coming off your eyelid. You did well. Everything went beautifully. Whew. How was it? It was like a Pink Floyd concert. Okay. Laser light Pink Floyd with all right. the colors. <laughs> Hopefully not too bad. Not we, too bad. Halfway home. Half time now. Okay. okay. Now, the process to prepare for the second eye is begun by our nursing and surgical team. So everything went well. We make sure everything goes perfectly for each eye, especially when we're doing both eyes on the same day. I'll go to our other operating room, start the next case while our team is prepping and turning over all the instruments and making sure everything is perfectly sterile for our patient's second eye surgery. So we treat one person as if they're like two separate people to make sure everything goes well and there's no risk of cross-contamination. While I'm starting surgery in the adjacent operating room, we ask the patient if they are more comfortable laying flat or if they would like to sit up and take a break. We give her a small cup of water to drink, then open a new separate set of sterile instruments in preparation for surgery to her second eye. We do not reuse any instruments or equipment that was used on the first eye for surgery on the second eye. The surgical scrub technician re-sterilizes her hands and changes into a new sterile gown and gloves. Our team prepares for her second eye surgery as if she were a completely separate patient and then reconfirms and repeats the process for sterilization of the left eye surface and surrounding tissues. Every detail is double checked for safety and sterility between our patient's right and left eye surgeries. So we just finished up that case and now we're going back to operating room number three to treat her second eye, her left eye. Proper surgeon positioning is key to avoid repetitive stress injuries over time. How I sit, position the foot pedals, the table height, the height and tilt position of the microscope oculars are all crucial to surgical safety and efficiency for each patient. For our premium lens replacement patients, I'm a bit more perfectionistic about each surgical step than I would be for a basic cataract surgery patient. For example, I make sure that the anterior capsular axis is centered and five millimeters in case we have a posterior capsule tear that requires us to implant a single piece acrylic lens in a reverse optic capture configuration during surgery or in the event that the patient needs or wants intraocular lens exchange in the future after possible YAG capsulotomy. Depending on the viscoelastic that I use, I will either use a bent needle cystotome or utrata forceps to create the anterior capsular axis. For removing the nucleus, I prefer a horizontal chop technique. We love the Bausch & Lomb capsule guard for removing the lens cortex and allowing us to safely aspirate the residual lens fibers from the posterior capsule. I want the posterior capsule as clear as possible to reduce the need for YAG capsulotomy in the future. When removing the viscoelastic from behind the lens implant, we remove any remaining lens fibers that can be seen behind the implant. Thank you. Thanks for being so good. I'm going to remove the sheet. It's like a big band-aid coming off. Perfect. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. You made it. Fantastic. Woo! You did it. How are you now? You okay? Yeah. Oh.
Good. So your vision is basically 2020 already. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So a little bit of uh, sparkles on the side. Um, I have a little bit of blurriness when I my, my eyes shift. Yeah. But I woke up in the middle of the night. I checked my phone. Yeah. And I could see it perfectly. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. And you drove yourself here? I did not drive myself here. Okay. Um, I live about an hour away, so I was a little nervous about the, okay. the longer distance. But um, yeah, it's. Uh, I was surprised that I could see as well as I could as soon as I left. Yeah, let me just see here. What was your before surgery measurement? So you only used reading glasses. You didn't wear glasses for far vision, right? I did not wear glasses for far vision. But I was so reliant on those reading glasses, I could not stand to have them be parted from them. Yes. How does the far vision compare? Everything is so crisp. Is it better than it was without glasses before surgery? I feel like it is. Okay, I feel like things are just sharper and crisper and yeah, it's amazing. Why did you, why did you choose to have both eyes done same day? Um, I thought Rather it was just- Rather than just one right, at a time. Right, um, You know, I did that because it would be more convenient, more time efficient. Uh, I felt like it would be less downtime um, and yeah, it just works in, just worked into the schedule easier. Was it different between your right eye and your left eye? We did them, you know, almost like within the half hour of one another. Right, there, uh, I think the, the first eye was a little easier just because I had no expectations. Right. <laughs> and so that was a little smoother. Um, I think I mentioned it looked like a Pink Floyd laser light show uh, right. while it was going on. Uh, and so the second eye, I kind of knew what was, what was gonna go on. Um, but uh, yeah, I was pleased to be able to get it all done in about, what, 30 minutes and an hour maybe, whatever it was. Uh, and yeah, I feel like the healing is, after 24 hours, is amazing. Awesome. Um, questions? Um, so I think the sparkles are going to last for maybe another week? Maybe. maybe. Go away over the next month. Okay. Okay. Just take your drops, follow okay. the instructions. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, wonderful. Thanks. Thanks. Awesome. Okay. Congratulations.